Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanted to talk about high performance order storage for WooCommerce, which just came out yesterday with the release of WooCommerce 8.2. This feature has been in the works for a long time and it is finally here to provide higher performance for our WooCommerce stores with, with anything that has to do with, with order, ordering, okay? So for a while now, this, this feature has been in, in the works Part of the reason for it being in the works for such a long time is the extension. So any third-party extensions like WooCommerce subscriptions, memberships, Automate Woo, product vendors, those are some of the big ones um, that I use. Um, they needed to be compatible as well with HPOS because this is an entirely different way of storing order data. Okay, so it's ready to go. Uh, if you have a third-party extension, that's maybe not so mainstream. You might want to check their change. Uh, I would check their change logs, see if there's any mention of HPOS compatibility in there. If there's not, reach out to the vendor and ask them uh, if it is compatible or when it will be. I'd imagine with all this time that's gone by that I can't imagine one of these extension vendors hasn't hasn't uh, taken care of this yet, but, but you never know. Um, so what is this? Let's do a quick overview. HPOS, it is for high performance. That's that's the main takeaway here. So as part of that, uh, we're talking about scalability. I've got a guide here pulled up on my screen. If you do a, a search for WooCommerce HPOS, this is like the very first hit on the, the search results. Um, so yeah, so like I said, scalability, reliability, and simplicity. You can read through all that. I'm not going to read through all that in this video, but again, the main takeaway is performance. They they have previously stored, WooCommerce has previously stored orders in the post table, just like any other posts that have to do with WordPress. It's it was inefficient. It was not scalable, reliable, or or simple. Like the three the three things here that they're trying they were trying to address. So that was an issue, right? So now what they've done is they pulled out the orders into their own database tables. Okay. So again, for high performance reasons. Okay. Uh, I will let you read through this, through this uh, more thoroughly if you want to geek out uh, like I do. But um, in this video, we're going to enable high performance order storage HPOS on one of my websites. So actually on my agency website, we're going to do this live together. Okay. All right, so here on that website, the only thing I've done is I've updated to the latest version of WooCommerce, which is 8.2. You absolutely run, want to run a full backup uh, of your website. And I would even recommend going even further and running this in staging, okay? So I've got a full backup of my website. Super easy to do. If you're on hosting like I am with Keensta, you just click a button or two and, and you get that full backup super fast. All right, so, so that's done. If it was, if I was doing this for um, for another website for, you know, that was more, uh, not saying that my agency website isn't highly critical, it is, but if it was a super highly critical website, you know, like if, you, if, you, if you've got a directory, a MyListen directory that's super, super popular and taking tons of orders, I would probably test this in staging just so you're comfortable with the process and, and how it goes. But um, since I already know, I, I didn't do this in staging. All right, all right. So this is what we get. Uh, we we updated the plugin. We're now under WooCommerce and then Settings, Advanced, and then we're in this little this this features. Click on this features link here. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh my screen. Okay. So again, WooCommerce, Settings, Advanced, and then Features. Okay. So that's where we are. Here we see that the old order data storage method. Still stuck at the default, which is WordPress post storage. We want to get over to this HPOS order storage, which is recommended. The problem is, or the, the reason why we can't update, just click that switch is because of this. We've got orders that need to be synced up before we can just completely switch over. Okay. So looking at this guide here, what do they say? Navigate here, which we've already done. Step two is turn on the enable compatibility mode. All right, so let's do that. And once this setting is activated, background actions will be scheduled. So 
They don't say to save changes, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's how you activate that, so save changes. Okay, so we see here currently syncing orders. Let's go back here. Once the setting is activated, background actions will be scheduled. The action, blah, 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 checks whether there are orders that need to be backfilled. If there are, it schedules another action, blah, 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 that actually backfills the orders to post storage. You can either wait for these actions to run on their own, which should be quite soon. Okay, so let's go back here. Should be quite soon. So we've got 827. Let's just refresh this screen. Okay, according to this, it looks like it's done. So just that fast. Now, I'm on Keensta, which is high, super high-end hosting. I don't know if 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 that helped. I I'm, I'm, couldn't hurt, obviously, right, make, to make that go super fast. I don't know if you're on crappy, crappy hosting, if this is going to take a lot longer. Obviously, the number of orders are going to make a difference and, and that sort of thing. So totally depends on, on your situation. So let's go back here. This is this is done. The action will backfill 25 orders at a time. If there are more orders to be synced, then those actions will be scheduled as soon as the preview action, blah, 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 blah. After both tables are successfully synchronized, you'll be able to select the option to switch to HPOS. It is advisable to maintain compatibility mode for some time to ensure a seamless transition. In case of any issues, reverting to the post table can be done instantly. Okay, so they're saying we would like you to keep this setting on, but now I can go ahead and toggle this on. All right, so let's make sure we've got that. Alternatively, you can also use, okay, we're not getting to the CL, uh, CLI commands in this video, turn on the setting. Do, 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 It is, it is advisable to maintain compatibility mode for some time to ensure a seamless transition. In case of any issues, reverting the, to the post table can be done instantly. It comes down here and it says, note, turning the setting, enable compatibility, synchronize, and then off and on again will also schedule the backfill process again if needed. Okay, so they want us to just leave it like this for a while and just ensure that there are no issues. We don't have a timeline on how long that is, but what I would do and what I'm gonna do after this video is I'm gonna get into my calendar. I'm gonna set up a reminder. Let's just call it a month from now. And I'm gonna say, hey, if there are no issues, let's just, let's just get rid of this compatibility mode, all right? So I'm gonna click Save Changes. There we go. So now I am on HPOS and enjoying higher performance for my ordering system through through WooCommerce, okay? And I'm gonna go, like I said, right now and schedule a reminder to look at this in a month and say, hey, Ryan, were there any issues that you encountered? Nope, let's just turn off compatibility mode. All right, I hope this video was useful to, to everyone out there that may not have even known this was, was there or that, that it was coming. Um, I know a lot of people, it's gloss over certain parts of change logs or don't read them at all and they just click the update button. But this is why I do this, uh, especially because of running a website care and maintenance business. I have to know this stuff and educate people on this stuff as well as educate myself and that sort of thing. All right, hope all is well and I will catch you all on the next one. See ya.